<laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord, my Lord. You know what? It's times like this that I want to pay homage and I think about my great family, uh, the number one family at gospel, um, the Staple Singers. I don't know if y'all remember them. See, because a lot of y'all kind of old, but your mamas and your grandmamas remember them. You know, Purvis and Mavis, Pop, and uh, Yvonne. Who else? No, oh, man, I can't think of that. Well, they used to sing this song, though, and it just reminds me of what's going on right now. Y'all know. It's it's just a ball of confusion. But they, they was kind of Southern, and they made it real plain. They didn't have no errors about themselves. And they used to say... They used to sing a song called um, Lions will be running on that great day. Lions will be running on that great day. Lions will be running on that great day. Tell me who shall be a booster. Ah! <laughs> who shall be able to stand in these damn times like this, y'all? Ooh, good morning. Good afternoon. Shout out to the staple singers this morning. Y'all had to pay homage to y'all. Anyway, I know my parents would be proud. But uh, I want to talk today about y'all. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Um, and I know it's very, very hurtful. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening family, whatever side of the diaspora that you own, welcome to this crazy house, okay, because, you know, that's exactly what it is, that's why I call it this, because it's crazy, y'all, and you have to admit it, so now we got Tucker Carlson, who, you know, who, is it really a surprise to anybody with any half of a brain that, you know, the voice of Fox News, Mr. Tucker Carlson, is very, very racist, you know, and I say racist because he has power. Racist affixed to something, cis, ist, is the prefix of the word race, and I, I put ist on the bottom for Tucker because he has the power to do something, you know. He's come from a wealthy family, in case you guys didn't know. I believe he's a trust fund, baby. Who, who does he belong to? Somebody. Somebody, some wealthy family. I, I want to say DuPont, but I know I'm wrong. However, y'all can go look that up. That's 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 a, something for you to find out. Tucker Carlson. Anyway, he's the number one voice of Fox. And now he done took a break because it's done been outed now that his top writer is a freaking, um, you know, white supremacist. Or, or people that sponges white supremacist ideas and he gives them to Tucker and Tucker exposes them and, and he spews them out like a pest dispenser on his show. Okay? So, to anybody that is of um, the nature of uh, uh, of the of the person that's been oppressed, not part of the control group, they, they already see the madness. And I think if it's one thing that people... So more specifically, black people are very, very sensitive and very keenly aware of racist people. You don't even have to tell us about we can sense them. Now, I'm not talking about the madness that's going over there in Detroit um, because that right there, you know, like I said in the last video, I'm sorry, I'm, I digress. It needs to be shut down. But when we look at people like Tucker Carlson, and how a, a, a station like Fox News got into the game uh, with black shows like Martin and uh, those Wayne boys and just, uh, uh, I mean, just a lot of black shows and then all of a sudden turned to represent what they do now. Once they got the viewership up and got the channel up where they wanted, once they used black people like they always do. Then they switch over to this format where purposely spewing out hatred. Okay. Now here's what I'm saying. You know, it's one 
I don't blame white people for being white supremacists because if they go through this system of schooling uh, and come out not racist, then that means that the heart of that person is so pure that y'all just need to grab the person and say namaste. All right? Y'all got to bow down to them because this society has been so, I mean, in other words, what I'm trying to say, y'all, don't listen before y'all start getting mad. In order for the white brainwash to work, over years and years and years and years, you have to tell some, you know, keep convincing the next generation, generation, generation that they're, you know, better and the other one's worse. Because when you first started off, nobody believed that stupid shit. So the further it went down, then I guess we start going, oh yeah, I guess our tails start going further and further in between our legs. And the, uh, 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 uh. You know, the, the masses, the oppressor, his chest began to stick out further and further and further because he knew he didn't need to do so much controlling with the chains. Because at first, it, a lot was done with the chains with us. But see, you know, once you get the chains off and once you can get the person's mind where you want it, you can take the chains off. You pretty much got them where you need them to be. And you can trust that they're going to do what the hell you say. So that's really what has happened in this society, y'all, in terms of schooling. A lot of y'all, uh, a lot of these young people haven't even had, like, civics in school. So a lot of them really don't know what the hell is going on. And they're on the very, very low bottom uh, part of understanding what has happened in America. Because they've done a real good job of teaching a certain type of history, totally omitting what the truth is and put a bunch of lies and had other people and put it in a perspective where the people that's regurgitating this or in, ingesting this bullshit really have a false sense of reality. So this is really what you're dealing with when you're outside and then you're dealing with people like Tucker Carlson who has the ability and the platform to keep spitting out this craziness. Um, he has a number one show. And then you find the number one show. The, the, the writer of the show. Is a, a white supremacist. Well. They kind of go hand in hand to me. People are quick to say. Well. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. And Donald Trump won the electorate, you know, college. Anybody that vote for somebody that come down the elevator saying that all people are Mexican or all Mexicans are racist is just not going to end well. How many times do I got to say that? So for all of y'all who feel bad about what's going on with Donald Trump, Black people are like, we knew y'all was crazy, but now we really know that you're crazy because how could you vote for Donald Trump? And don't talk about people like Candace Owens because, listen, she getting paid and she's gotten paid to reflect the mindset that she's spewing off. So don't don't even take her serious. She's a, she's a, a, a fake news, just like Trump said. That's what she is. Because she was part of, she used the NAACP to help her to talk about racism. So we don't want to talk about her. But the heart of most Americans, I don't want to think, feel like Donald Trump. Okay? Because they wouldn't have voted for Hillary Clinton if they did. So the the few that, that did vote for him, that put him over this top from the electoral college and all that stupid craziness that need to be struck down in my opinion, shows me that there is still a part of America like a cancer. It has to be cut out. And James Ball was saying to fire next time. I'm hoping that it don't lead to that. 
But if it do, and if it does, I'm sorry, it is what it is. Well, you got people like Tucker Carlson on the news and y'all on the late show just now trying to expose something that he has, racist writers and things like that. It's like, come on. Unless you have got your head in a really dark place, people that want to be, um, how do I say, neutral, they don't, they don't aspire to anybody like that. However, there's another side to me that has to acknowledge that you have to have yin and yang. So in order to have, you have to have that balance. So just like you have to have your Tucker Carlson's and the people that spew hatred and mean things and evil stuff and, you know, just try to throw logs on the fire of, of mayhem. And dissension, you also got a, a group of people that are light bearers. And those people want to draw people to the light. And they don't want no parts of that kind of stuff like that. Because they know that beyond everything is good and bad in everything and in everyone. Okay? And there is none no better than the other at the end of the day because they mirror each other. But there are some that can't see stuff like that because they still run around in the darkness. And your job as a light bearer is to point their asses out. Okay? Don't, don't think that a light bearer means you pass it. It doesn't. It just means you're able to point this out. You're able to see and you're able to deal with the pain of what is really going on in America. You have to continue to educate yourself. You have to continue to try to bridge the gaps where they open that. You got you to gotta do it. Otherwise, it is going to be like Marie Antoinette. Let them eat cake because this shit going to all blow up. You know we can't go on like this. We can't go on. So it's up to us to expose the Tucker Carlson's. To me, I wouldn't even want them back. And I know it takes all kinds, but you got extreme people that conjure up extreme hatred. It's okay to have people that have differences of opinion, but you shouldn't have people out there stoking hatred. And that's, in my opinion, what Donald Trump and Tucker Carlson is very good at. And Donald, Tucker Carlson shouldn't just be on the break. He should be gone. So, I don't know how y'all feel about that. Some of y'all out there probably like Tucker. And you never see it like, or don't see it like that. I don't care. I'd like to hear from you too. But what I'm saying is, in this crazy house, I got to know which ones to lock out, which ones to let a little closer. Because what I'm saying is, when you start spewing that kind of stuff, then I know, oh, no. That ain't how we get to another level. You know, I want America to win. My ancestors helped build this. I want to see America win. And don't get it twisted. So, I'm done with that Tucker Carlson dude. I've been done with him. And it's a YouTuber on there. Here. It's, by the way, before I turn off. He loves Tucker Carlson. I ain't going to mention the person's name. His name. But that's why I don't even listen. And I'm like, this dude is a racist. And he don't even understand why he's a racist. He doesn't understand that some of the things that has happened to him created this race subconscious in his mind that he spews on his videos that I said, oh, I better get up off of here before I uh, let him have it with both barrels, not just one. Y'all might know who I'm talking about, but it really doesn't matter. Um, the thing is, if somebody is talking about, you know, I don't like all Mexicans and this certain things, and like I said, I can't get with that because I already know you're going to be a problem. You're going to be a problem. 
especially in this experiment called America when we all got to live over here together. You know, maybe the experiment ain't going to work. But right now, they're still trying to make it work. Except for Donald Trump. <laughs> anyway, I'm out of here, y'all. Uh, Tucker Carlson, you suck. Anyway, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video.